Fargo. And along that dying front, some rain in the Carolinas. Ahead into Thursday, cooling off a little further up there in the northeast. A lot of summertime weather down the southeast. <laughs> These are the amazing Lee Press. Then dream of San Diego. Some say it's got the best weather in the U.S. It's mild year-round with average daytime temperatures near 70 degrees. Humidity is generally low and the sun nearly always shines. So savor those nice days and take in the sights. Located just above the Mexican border, San Diego has a Spanish flair. You'll enjoy Moorish architecture throughout the city, especially at La Jolla, the historic Old Town section. You won't want to miss the harbor and bay areas with their lovely beaches. Visit SeaWorld, a popular aquatic park where you can observe playful dolphins and penguins. Tour the beautiful San Diego Zoo, the world's largest collection of wild animals surrounded by rare and exotic plants. And since Mexico is at your doorstep, take a Tijuana taxi and have some fun shopping. San Diego, a scenic city with some great weather. Some not so great weather right now in Pittsburgh. We'll have a radar view out of that locale as well. We'll update your current map, all that in about a minute 15. watching the Weather Channel. First with the weather for the whole nation. We'll have more after your local forecast, so stay tuned. Some rather rough weather tonight up around the lee shore of Lake Ontario. Special marine warning out for much of that area. From near Watertown all the way around to Rochester and clear on back westbound to about the uh, Lockport area as a cold front is now crossing your neck of the woods. Do want to remind everybody in part of Ohio, we continue with that severe thunderstorm watch until 1 a.m. local time. Now some pretty heavy rain around Zanesville and back into the uh, greater Cincinnati area. In the northeast, it is a very warm night tonight. Temperature about 75 right now in Syracuse. The rain not too far away, some pretty heavy rainfall from Buffalo and Niagara Falls on down toward Grove City and around Newcastle, Pennsylvania. And we have that radar view now out of Pittsburgh depicting some pretty heavy rainfall around the upper Ohio Valley. As we uh, check in with Pittsburgh, we'll see some pretty heavy rainfall. Honest. We have that radar view coming up, waiting on deck, waiting in the wings, maybe waiting forever. And tell you what, we're not going to wait forever. We'll come back to it. Down the Ohio Valley, some rain, and the rain feeling good. It's hot out there tonight. 81 right now at Evansville and at Louisville. Up into the uh, northern part of Minnesota, though, cooling down a bit. 59 International Falls and a rather nippy 51 at Sault Ste. Marie. Southeast, high pressure. Down into Florida, the rain now has ended. Tampa picked up about an inch of rain earlier tonight in a one-hour period. Here's that rain around Macomb and Natchez, down toward Baton Rouge. And in Texas, really getting pummeled. Again, Gaines in Dawson County in Texas and Lea County in New Mexico under a flash flood warning for another 23 minutes. Here's some more heavy weather up here north of uh, Ponca City in Bartlesville in Oklahoma. Out toward Arizona, California, hot day today. Northern California got very warm. Red Bluff topping out today at 105. Sacramento about 103. In the northwest, a couple real light showers, but a pretty warm day today. Seattle topped out right around 80. And there's Alaska, a few showers into the uh, Aleutian Island area as the week low pressure is dominating up there. And there's our current weather map. And guess what we have waiting for you? Pittsburgh radar, there it is. Grove City, Newcastle, we promised it to you. There it is, some pretty heavy rain. 
and up here by Bradford and Meadville, another pocket of rain, and basically a broken line right on back to Zanesville and clear on back through into the uh, capital city of Columbus. It's all racing on southeast at about 35 to 40 miles per hour. Back to our satellite view now, we'll take a look and see what's going on. Broken line of bright white cloud cover, top cirrus high is 55 to occasionally 60,000 feet. And there is some heavy weather embedded in here, especially in Missouri and Kansas as we color enhance tops in Missouri now as high as 59,000 feet. Welcome to an open house celebration of Whole Magazine, the only magazine that talks to you where you live, no matter where you live. Whole Magazine helps you turn that split level, colonial, condo, or loft into the home you always dreamt it could be. Every month, Whole Magazine is your authority on decorating, remodeling, landscaping, architecture, products, and much more. Get home remedies in the home like kitchen additions, bathrooms that really make a splash, decorating ideas like how to put your best seat forward, plus tips on saving money in the material world. Call now and get 12 monthly issues of home for just $15. Save more than $8 off the newsstand price. Also get this copy of home. Oh, Sunday night, early Monday morning edition of our Business Traveler's Report. When we come back, we'll have the weather and you. We'll talk about the record high we had on Sunday up in Pennsylvania. I'm Charlie Welsh. The anchor set you see here is just one of the improvements we're working hard to have ready for Sunday the 29th to bring you the new weather channel you need for everything you do. Stop, look, and win in the Michelin State Salute on the Weather Channel. Keep watching the Weather Channel to find out how you can win a luxurious 1986 Chrysler New Yorker, fully equipped in your color choice. Enjoy your own suite for five nights at San Diego's Bahia Resort Hotel on sparkling Mission Bay, or a five-day vacation at Gaston's White River Resort in Lakeview, Arkansas, with trout fishing and boating fun. One winner per state will receive a set of four Michelin XH radial tires. 50 winners get this big golf umbrella, and 200 winners receive a case of Quaker State Motor Oil. The Big Q meets all new car and truck driving needs. Plus, 10,000 winners get a Michelin Man magnet. Just identify and collect the 50 states and their corresponding numbers on the Weather Channel, or visit a participating Michelin dealer for all the clues. Stop, look, and keep watching the Weather Channel to find out how you can play and win the Michelin State Salute. We had one record high today, Erie, Pennsylvania, topping out at 90, but by tomorrow again, in the wake of that front, the winds ought to veer around into the northwest, and coming off the lakeshore there, they'll probably top out right around 80 and even cooler as we head on toward Tuesday as that next front comes barreling down out of Manitoba. No fronts down here in Dixie and a very, very hot day tomorrow in Milledgeville and back toward Dothan, Alabama. Could be flirting with 100 degrees. They're not going to be alone, though. Real hot once again out by Gila Bend and Buckeye in Arizona. Luckily, one more fairly dry day out there. Then by Tuesday, they'll be getting in on the act. And a good bet for rain in Tucson by about Tuesday. Still tropical air in Arkansas and up the east coast, just ahead of that front up around the Delmarva. And the heat index uh, advising some caution up there, and especially here 
on the uh, coastal plain in the Piedmont and back into Texas. Really slow it down. And finally now updating you on mold spores running rampant in the southeast and the northwest. State 34 has Mount Rushmore overlooking its Black Hills. Number 35 shares the Ozarks and is famous for its hot springs in Little Rock. And Exeter, Manchester, and the first of the presidential primaries are in state number 36. Checking out Expo 86 now. Good time of year to check out the Northwest, and tomorrow, no exception, for the uh, Vancouver Playhouse. Looks like partly sunny skies and temperatures in the lower 70s, and that is just about uh, status quo. For the month of June, average highs right around 70, lows in the lower 50s, chance of rain 1 in 3. Expo 86, the 1986 World Exposition is a family vacation place. There's something for everyone, international exhibits and thrilling amusement rides. The fearless will dare to ride the Scream Machine, the world's largest double helix roller coaster. Pavilions make history and science come alive. It's educational, enlightening and fun. Located in Vancouver, Canada, just three hours north of Seattle, where your dollar is worth more than ever. Expo 86, a family vacation to remember for a lifetime. We have a main engine shut down. NASA's Delta rocket accident last spring cost the Weather Service its eastern satellite just before the hurricane season. The Weather Service is moving the existing satellite right now to try to make up for the loss. Under ideal conditions, GOES West covers Hawaii, the Pacific, and the West Coast. GOES East covers the East Coast, the Caribbean, and Atlantic, all the way to Africa, where many hurricanes originate. We've had only one GOES satellite for nearly two years now. In winter, the satellite was moved a bit westward to see storms in the Pacific. Last hurricane season, it was moved a bit east for better hurricane coverage. The problem now is that moving it again this time will use enough fuel to shorten its life by three to six months. That's not so serious if the planned launch of a new satellite this fall goes off with little or no delay. If, however, it does not, it is conceivable that before the end of this decade there would be no functional GO satellite covering the U.S. It's just a possibility, but a possibility nonetheless. Thanks a lot, Glenn. Checking out our heat wave and again our warm, warm night tonight. 83 at Little Rock, 83 in the Atlanta area. Look at the 80s up in the Ohio Valley. Cooling off a bit up there by Duluth, but still very hot weather encompassing much of the southwest. Heat index, again, it feels like about 88 at Little Rock, and that is uh, kind of tough to deal with at the uh, mid midnight hour over there in Arkansas. And they're going to stay kind of warm again tomorrow. Forecasting highs in the 90s all the way up the valley to about Hannibal, Missouri. Very hot in the southwest and probably again above 110 out there by Bullhead City in Arizona. Heat index accordingly advising caution, especially in the areas in the darker orange. And once again, drink plenty of fluids, limit the time out there in the sun, and check on the elderly. Every day, 350 tons of paint. Ohio, out of the uh, Covington radar site, we see some locally heavy rain along I-71, and we'll be updating that for you in a minute. And also watch out here across Oklahoma and Texas, very heavy rain right now in Ponca City and Bartlesville, and back on to uh, Blackwell in Oklahoma, right there near I-35. So take it easy in that locale, and as well back there in West Texas. Do want to remind everybody for another 40 minutes, this area in Ohio is under a severe thunderstorm watch. Flash flooding will occur and has occurred today in Texas. Flash flood watches up in these areas in the darker green right on through to the uh, dawn hour tomorrow morning. And you may see some wet highways right on up into New York. Now, perfect polished nails in seconds. Lee Press-On Nails in fashion colors. Press-On Color, no messy polish. Press-On Color, no drying time. Press-On Color, no chipping ever. Lee Press-On Nails in fashion colors. Everything you need for longer polished nails. Lee Super Stick Tabs and 20 Lee Press-On Nails in a variety of sizes. Available in a rainbow array of today's popular colors. So press-on. Lee Press-On Nails now in fashion colors. 
Okay, we're going to check out our satellite looper now and see what's going on around the nation. Going back to about midnight last night, saw some pretty heavy weather running from Minnesota down to Kansas. And at that time, uh, Vermilion, South Dakota, clocked winds up around 95 miles per hour. That front very potent then. And look at this buildup of moisture down here in Texas, really going nowhere. A lot of flash flooding down there. Again today in the Pecos Valley, the Big Bend National Park. And over the next couple of days, we'll see this area begin to creep on up the valley and actually enhance the uh, shower action in New Mexico and even out into Arizona by about Tuesday. Now again, the front pretty active in Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, had some heavy weather earlier tonight, as Cheryl mentioned, around Indianapolis. And now the Buckeye State getting some locally heavy rain around Wilmington, Ohio. And they are still getting some heavy rain up in New York and Pennsylvania as well, up here by Buffalo and right on back down to about uh, Grove City, as we looked at a moment ago. Florida today has some rain. Tampa picked up about an inch in a one-hour period. The Carolinas, Georgia, Alabama dominated by high pressure. But on the backside, we saw some rain pop up. And again, you can see some of the bright cloud cover increasing in Mississippi and Louisiana. They had some locally heavy rain until about a couple of hours ago. In the Northwest, basically fair and a very, very hot day out there. Red Bluff, California topped out at 105. Well, let's take a look now at our current weather map, see what's going on around the nation. And once again, you can see a big dome of high pressure out there over Idaho and Montana. Boise today about 87, 88 for the high. As that high dominates, really a pretty quiet pattern on into Minnesota and Iowa. And it is cooling down a little bit now after highs in the 80s in Minot. They got a bottom out around the middle and upper 40s overnight tonight. In Texas and Oklahoma, a lot of real heavy rainfall along that front now draped roughly from Oklahoma all the way to Ohio. In Arizona and California, a lot of low cloud cover right on the water out there in California. And the air temperature around 60 now at the LAX airport. But inland, the valleys were really uh, sultry today. Sacramento topped out at 102. Medford, Oregon up around the middle 90s. But again, more hot weather in the southeast, and we had very, very sticky air down here. There's that dying rain around Macomb and Baton Rouge, and some rainfall as well offshore Tampa, St. Pete, and up in the northeast. The rain of earlier over there by Bridgeport, that has ended. Still a very warm night, though, about 75 at Syracuse and Huntington, and temperatures still up near 80 in Charlotte, North Carolina. Looking at the current readings, 77 in Pittsburgh, the rain not too far away. A very, very warm 78 in St. Louis on a very muggy night. 62 in Bismarck, finally cooling down a bit. And heading westbound, still a hot 83 in Medford. And a pair of 95s out there in Las Vegas and a Phoenix. And here on the Gulf Coast, after that rain, down to 73 now in Tampa, Florida. You can see the bright cloud cover roughly out there in the Appalachian Bay. Georgia, Alabama, free of clouds on a very hot day. Atlanta topped out today at 94. And by the way, we had one record high up there at Erie, PA, but now you can see they are beginning to cloud over. The cloud deck running from Ontario back into New Mexico and Texas. And the Northeast, basically uh, fair to partly cloudy and a pretty warm day today, but you'll be seeing some rain by tomorrow. And still the showers out there out across New Mexico and Texas. Well, we have a couple local radars for you now. First stop will take us into the Oklahoma City area. Here's some real heavy rain. North of Tulsa, up around Bartlesville and back to Ponca City, Blackwell, and another pocket of locally very heavy rain over by Greer and Harmon counties. And these rain elements are all ahead of a cold front. They're all tracking on eastbound at about 35 miles per hour. One more radar view will take us up the river into Louisville, Kentucky. Some rain over here by New Albany, north of Louisville, and another pocket of rain around Newport, Kentucky, and over there by Wilmington, Ohio. This rain racing on eastbound at about 30 miles per hour. Financial Inquiry is a national television investment program that is over by offshore Africa and back into the open water of the Atlantic. Really a quiet pattern, a little trough over here along the intertropical convergence zone, but even here, little intensifica intensification is likely over the next 24 hours. Right, 20 calls at the market. Thanks. Even as I speak, fortunes are being made in today's stock index.
Liz Jarvis, one member of the Weather Channel's new anchor team, will be on the job Sunday the 29th to help you get the weather news and information you need for everything you do. Welcome back to the Weather Channel on a Sunday night now, Monday morning. Kevin Raymer back, and Kevin, well, the rain's not back. It's never really left Texas. No, it's very wet. You've got some uh, warnings to tell us about, right? Yeah, you know, the uh, warnings were going to expire out there, but again, we continue for Andrews, Borden, Dawson, Gaines, Howard, and Martin counties in Texas, and also now uh, Southern Leah County, New Mexico. Mm -hmm. That flash flood warning has been extended until 3.15 local time. So very, very wet weather out there. You know, we've got the forecast up next, which means we'll talk about where the rains are not only are now, I'll get it out here in a minute, but where those, rains, where those rains are going to. Okay, well, go to. Is that fine with you? Oh, indeed. Okay, we're going to do it. Uh, let's check it out. Thanks a lot, Bill. We will check out the forecast situation as we uh, take you on into the uh, morning hours, morning rush as you're heading off to work on your Monday. Look for that cold front to be extending all the way through Maine, back into the Ohio Valley area, down through Oklahoma. Even by the afternoon hours, plenty of rains in that area of the country, and the front becoming more or less stationary still back over Oklahoma and Kansas. High pressure in control over most of the southeast. Still quite a bit of instability, though, from Florida back into Louisiana, Texas. Going to see some showers over that way, showers around the panhandle of Texas and out through portions of the desert southwest. By midnight, uh, well, we still have very wet weather to talk about across much of the northeast as that front begins to make its way offshore, pushing on out into the Atlantic. Again, the front just hovering there over the Tennessee Valley area. Plenty of rains back into Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, even into Texas. We're seeing that southeasterly wind flow around that ridge of high pressure, bringing up that tropical air into Texas there and some scattered showers all the way back into New Mexico, but we're looking for most of the rain likelihood anyway to be uh, probably right around uh, Texas south of the Panhandle down into West Texas, just where we don't need it. Also, a pretty good bet of rain, say 50 to 80 percent across much of the northeast back into the uh, Tennessee Valley region. As we uh, look for how much rain to expect, as far as potential is concerned, generally about an inch more rain, look for it, in those flash flood watch areas across portions of Texas south of the Panhandle. Temperature is going to be kind of chilly back into the higher elevations in the west in the 40s, but really lows are not going to get any lower than uh, mostly 60s and 70s over the east. Warming up, though, another scorcher over the desert southwest. Hundreds, 110 degree readings expected. Lots of 90s over the southeast back into Texas. Would you look at this? 100s expected on your Monday afternoon over north Georgia, northwest Alabama, and throughout portions of central Georgia into uh, southern South Carolina. So it's going to be a scorcher on your Monday. Here are three more clues for the Michelin State Salute. The Sunflower State is number 37, where people get corny in August. In state number 38, you'll find Hilton Head Island and aristocratic old Charleston. And state number 39 has Plymouth Rock and was the site of the Boston Tea Party. Looking ahead now on into Tuesday and Wednesday. Well, why don't we just look on into Tuesday? There's Wednesday, hot weather. Looks like the uh, computer jumping the gun on us, kind of wanting to go a little faster than we want to go. That's all right. I can still tell you what's going to happen Tuesday and Wednesday. Very hot from the west throughout Texas back into the southeast, looking for lots of 90s and even some 100s again out across the desert southwest. What about rain on Tuesday? Well, some heavy thunderstorms expected as that front kind of makes its way through Maine, back on down into middle Tennessee. By Wednesday afternoon, mostly just scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the southwest, back into the eastern sea board and down through Florida. And what about Thursday? The main jet stream riding to the north there, going to keep most of the uh, hot weather across most of the country. The cooler air kind of up around the uh, northeast, a little subtropical influence across the southwest could cause some more showers. You stay tuned. Coming up next is travel weather. We'll tell you uh, about...